and it's just all a matter of what you're after. And then the fairy wings. This is the front side. And I, I overheated right here, as you can see. It's not quite as blue. It started turning white because I used too much heat. And over here, the gallery glass is still not completely dry. So you can, you're seeing that white spot here and a little bit over here. And these wings, they don't have to be this shape. You can bend them all over you want if you want. On the back, what we did on the front, there was the clear gallery glass, and that's why you get these the veins. And that uh, creates a look all of its own. And I used the glitter and then used the heat gun to make the colors come out. Very brilliant. On the back, remember, I used the pearlescent um, liquid acrylic to paint and I did waited I did one layer let it dry did a second layer and then put the glitter on it let it completely dry then you use the heat gun and you set the glitter to change colors again and on these wings here uh, I really think it's pretty if you if you really get them get them bent around because wings aren't stiff they're not just paper you want them to look like they're in flight you want to you want to do different things with them, so don't just don't just leave them flat. Really, get some get some different uh, directions bent into them. You stick them in your fairy's back. Put two little holes between their shoulder blades and stick them in, and there you have your wings. The last type of wings we're going to go over are the what I call the cheater wings. What you do is you can get some uh, transparency paper from Walmart or any home office store and you can get pictures of butterflies or you can go to elvenwork.com that's www.elvenwork.com and they have some free cicada wings and some other little animal wings and you can save these to your uh, printer or your computer and put them in a document and then print them off onto your transparency and uh, like I said this is transparency paper and then this you can see the difference if you were to use um, If you vellum, uh, this is vellum, and it's not exactly see-through like the transparency paper is see-through. The transparency looks a lot better, I think. Um, these are there's all there's a lot of different designs, maybe about ten different designs that you can choose from at that website. This butterfly actually is not on there; it's just um, a picture of a butterfly, and uh, you can make teeny tiny little ones like here or medium ones or the biggest all the way across or you could even turn it and make it a full page depending on how big you want and you can cut these out or and use them just like that and just take the wire you take a wire you put it on there you line it up with the with the top of the wing up here and you I cut these out first because if you don't then they all get in the way of each other and then you take your gallery glass and you just uh, put gallery glass on there and then you let it dry and that's how you would hear it or you could use, use super glue but super glue um, generally leaves a residue it doesn't dry super clear uh, it's just a lot faster when you do use the uh, gallery glass what I like to do on the clear wings not on the ones with color is I'll take I'll take gallery glass and I'll just I'll lay down the wing and I'll put the gallery glass on there and I'll just use my finger cover it all up I'll take the poly flake polyester glitter and I'll sprinkle that on and let it completely dry and then after it's dry you take your heat gun you heat it up again and or heat it up and then uh, I there are um, it changes all the colors on there and I don't know that they all pick up but there's uh, a lot more colors than if you just use nothing at all and um, this compared to 
just a regular one, that's the difference. Uh, you can have just plain or you can have the multiple colors. And if you put this on, if you put the glitter on very, very thick and then you heat it up, it gets so thick and beautiful, it's almost, almost looks like a colorful metal. And uh, it's very pretty. And you can do that you, with the large wings. Let's see, I have one side heated up. We go and you just you would put normally you would put the uh, wire on when you did the gallery glass these are completely covered with gallery glass they have the glitter all over it um, and then you let it completely dry and then you use the heat gun on them and those are your wings you just stick them in your fairy and you can embellish them more with uh, the little golden marble, or any marble, any color of the marbles, whether that's clear or not, um, just look in your scrapbooking section for those little tiny marbles. They offer a nice selection of different colors, mixed colors, uh, Christmas. They have some that I use for New Orleans type colors, and um, you just have to see what your Michaels has. Or Hobby Lobby. I get I get the little marbles from Michaels. And that brings us to the end of the lesson on the on the regular uh, gallery glass wings and on the uh, cheater wings or the transparency wings. Either one. Um, so now you know how to make wings. Go out and craft something you really enjoy.